we never written losers final so what <laughs> oh dear I mean, you just write final and just add losers to it or redemption round final. <laughs> redemption round yeah. lower bracket finales the fight to oh, bracket fight. side. There you go. You click the button below it, right? And then. All oh, right. So Stu Stuart G is normally the bracket master who would know all of these things, yeah, but. Maybe. Yeah. Hey! Hooray! We did it. Good times. Teamwork makes the dream work. So it's a first of three. Stott and Stuart G. Winner plays Margin Fang. Stunt Stewart, Stunt Stewart, Stewart Samurai Showdown. <laughs> Samurai, how many S words can we get now? Su Samurai Showdown Sunday, Stott Stewart G, the losers, the finals. Sunday sponsored tournament by Genuine Gaming, <laughs> the Iron Crown, and Pika. And oh, SK never Portal. mind. Sorry, it's not Umbrella Gang. Sorry, TJ Sandman. We've gone to Ch Charlotte. Charlotte. Charlotte Orto. The French. Ooh. So Charlotte can definitely bully and control mid range. Oh dear. Oh, not a, not the world's biggest punish. He could have SSM if he wanted to, to. But he possibly either wasn't ready for it or otherwise. But I think Charlotte definitely benefits in some of his changes with guard bar because you are blocking a lot against her. And if you can see, Stott already is on guard crush. So the next blocked heavy will break his guard, like block heavy slash. What changes did they make to the guard? Oh, there is a guard bar now. That's it. Oh. They didn't used to be an internal guard gauge until season three. Oh. Wait, the so there was no guard crushing until season three? No. Huh. But the thing is, though, I suppose it's kind of risky because then if, you know, Stott knows that that's going to happen, he's just going to try and reflect or parry or something. Because heavies normally, as of themselves, aren't amazing. Especially Charlotte. It's kind of like short-ish range. It's not like a Haomaru heavy or something, but... Ooh! Throw. Oh my gosh. Time ticking away. Stuart G, just getting the air to air. The air interception. So Charlotte has a particularly obnoxious um, like jump up because it's very low. Yeah. And so when she gets on top of you especially, she can kind of jump over you repeatedly with cross-ups and just it's very annoying to deal with. Stop opting to like charge meter, like charges um fireball up rather than sort of pressure on the sword. So Stuart managed to pick it up right away. He's sitting on a big lead this round though, so still looking in control. Ooh, oh too short. No, you have to do a bit of a micro walk to get that to land. Ah oh, right. And Stott oh, spends all of his fire charges. Spends one the round whole of meatball. <laughs> yep, eats all the meatball. Ooh, big reflect. Oh, dear. Oh, I tried for a big reflect. So at this stage, if either of them gets a big reflect, they'll probably opt to try and spend their SSM and then make the other person burn first early. Good anti air. So Kazuki's always had that as a strong anti air. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, no! No, oh, no! Not a full punish, no! Oh, the scrambles. Sam Tray scrambles. Chaos! So it's gonna burst this. Yep. Oh no! What did he Block just... that punch, that punch, oh, that yeah, No! Idea. Oh dear. Oh. Stuart, He's just no. lying there. Stuart, no! That could have been big, and now Stuart's gonna lose his burst. Lose his chance to big punish, and Stott's got big life lead. And still has burst. It's looking rough. <laughs> 30 seconds on the clock. Stott not Throwing opting triangles. to sort of fireball zone or charge, he's kind of yeah, content to block them and be quite patient. Ooh, oh, an anti air. So that was one of the that was one of the season three buffs, that like anti-air grabby move actually has some head invulnerability now. Yeah. And now Stott. Boom. Fireballs and shit. 1-0 up. Oh no, it's umbrella time. Stuart saying, let's have some fun. What does that mean? <laughs> oh no. Oh no, it's umbrella. Oh no. Umbrella. Ella. <laughs> Why? Uh, Why? Surely after all these years, another pop song should have 
taking the umbrella reference but there's not there's only <laughs> one umbrella song uh, which is a shame I was actually, yeah, these two were playing here on Friday night. They were playing a set with um, Umbrella Girl against, I think it was Kazuki. And Stop was having some trouble dealing with zoning. Just, again, part of the reason why I decided, like, playing Mina. Because Mina zoning is obnoxious. But, like, so, Stuart so maybe have, might, have, might have seen thought the same. Thought, okay, you know what? Umbrella's obnoxiousness, zoning, playing, like, ultra safe tournament style rather than hard commit tournament style. Not a bad choice. Ooh, big whiff, though. <laughs> oh dear. I'm sitting there like he's totally waiting for the SSM there. And he decides to run up and grab instead. Stuart hitting level 2 now. <laughs> oh! Oh dear. Oh. Still there. And, and she's gone. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, just resource management. He can't use it for the rest of the set now. It's okay. Oh my gosh. And there's prelude to Dragon Ball Z brackets. We get this Dragon Ball Z super powering up to, you know, Super Saiyan Red Fire Angry Man. <laughs> Super Saiyan God. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Wait, no. That's the blue one, right? It's just... Yes. Oh, and he's hit is three red. of those already, and then he got the empowered one. So quickly. Ooh. Huh. Get the sweep. So, like, the thing is, even though she disarms herself, her unarmed normals are still quite good. Like, you saw yeah. her sweep. Her over she still has a running overhead. Um, and again, it's like this thing of you're going to chase her down, and then she's going to teleport way back to the other side again. And it begins. Oh, disgusting. I hate it. I hate it so much. Ding, ding. Blip. Oh my gosh, to oh the no. moon! Oh, punish. Punish. Good enough punish. And he does have the charged super leaf now. So. <laughs> there we go. I think so. Stop might have tried to overcharge the meatball. Oh, right. So basically, how that works is if you have three gauges and you try to charge again. He kind of has a... Yeah, like, he oh, had too much sauce on. He <laughs> yeah, too he, burnt, much sauce. he burnt the meatball, basically. <laughs> in order to be one with the sauce, you cannot be lost in the sauce. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. So this is... Ooh, oh, my gosh. Get blade, out. Wait, blade catch. Stuart deciding to... Ooh. Tried to stand on it to defend it, but... No, picked it up right no away. Good air to air. And that's big. Ooh. The burst. What will Stuart do with this? Overhead. He's got the overhead. He's still got the full mid ball. Watch out. Oh dear. Yeah, he's going to want to force this. <gasps> oh, no! oh no! He needs to do the running attack burst. Second chance, second chance. Yeah. Stop's going to burst this. Yep. And now Stuart's got to play defense. Or he can oh, go really hard. Oh, my lord. Oh my god, oh, no! Oh my god, no! Yeah, hit. So that would have comboed except for the fact that Stuart got hit in the air, so he flipped out. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh dear. This is anyone's game at this point. Indeed. Ooh. Again, the chip damage. Also play. You need some Ooh. more of this. Oh my oh gosh. Oh dear, he hasn't Stuart done that yet. Goes in with the umbrella toss, possibly trying to like, catch the off guard, but oh now dear. he's on the brink of... One more thing to do. Oh, oh. oh my gosh. Oh, this is getting nutty. <gasps> oh dear. The Ooh. jump goes unpunished. Suzuki wakes it out. Mm. Just a little tap in the feet. Okay, so I know Dragon Ball has the Dragon Ball meter in the middle, but yeah. there's this meter in the middle which I don't understand. Is there a meter yeah. in the middle in this game? What? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, what's that? Escape portal? portal? What's that portal esque <laughs> meter? Oh my gosh. Now oh, it's it a turns GG. into a GG meter sometimes. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's when you know it's a good game? Yeah. That's how you know it's a good game. Genuine game. Oh, now it's a Pika meter. Oh, oh. Is it like Faust? That's it like the meter's gone aggressive. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, Stuart, I feel like he was <laughs> doing good. Then he right. kind of made that big risky yeah, all-in like, play yes. and just, yep, bad times. Oh, spends the meter just to try and cash out as much damage as he can. Dominant good. like first round of game three for Stott so far. <gasps> oh no! No, no! Big whiff? Stuart misses the punish again. Oh, misses the combo. You have to do the running medium before you can do the weapon flip. <gasps> yes! He does it this time! Hey! Hits the combo! Now, can he play defense on this sword? Can he punish? Can he steal this round? 
Overhead? I mean, one Best. overhead all over. Oh, dear. Ooh. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Oh, oh my dear, gosh. No. Yeah, it's not sort of cottoned on to trying to not contest after a deflected normal and just punishing that instead. And it's paid off so far. Ooh. Oh, dear. Good hit into the chest bump, teleports back. Oh, no. It's pressed a few too many buttons there. Yeah. Stott is definitely in control right now. Stuart's got another chance Here with the disarm. Go. No, Stott, just, uh, Stott nope. wants to seal this. He just wants to finish it now. Oh no! Grab, gets the grab again. And now it's like while that virus is ticking away and Stott doesn't have the weapon equipped, he can't use his... Never mind. Oh no. Now he's got it back again. If I was Stuart, I would have stayed on him rather than backing off, but now we're in Danger Town. Well, at least he's got full meatball. <laughs> oh dear. Oh! Lands on the meatball. Doesn't oh, die though. What? Wow. That, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> To the oh, sky, to geez. the moon. Stott goes. Fly Stuart goes flying. Stott goes flying to Grand Finals. And I am back on for Grand Finals. Egads.